hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, this will be a very short video to give an information on uh, red hat announcement yes you are seeing it right uh, red hat is now free for up to 16 production servers yes uh, you heard it right so we are going to just talk about this in this tutorial so before i get into that i just want to give a recap on what we discussed in my uh, one of my previous tutorial uh, or uh, information which i have shown like uh, Red Hat has uh, stopped uh, CentOS Linux and they were going to uh, Red Hat stream, right? So previously, you know, like uh, from Fedora, Red Hat, and then uh, Red Hat downstream will be CentOS, right? And now it has been changed, like, you know, uh, Red Hat, uh, you know, uh, since it is moving to CentOS stream, CentOS stream will be an upstream of Red Hat. So what that it meant uh, for a lot of people was like, you know, uh, uh, since CentOS was used by a lot of people, you know, uh, as a production server, also as a lot of people, so we wanted to discuss, you know, uh, what is the cost for this and what was the issues which will be impacting for a lot of users, right? So that is what uh, we were doing it in one of my uh, video, okay? So this is just a recap, okay? So just want to tell what is the reason now uh, Red Hat is giving. Uh, 16 production servers and uh, wh how we can make use of that okay so what we discussed few points uh, as part of CentOS Linux discontinuation is like you know uh, since CentOS uh, is used uh, vastly by a lot of people even for as a production uh, instance as well because you know it's almost the same uh, version of uh, uh, Red Hat because you know CentOS is a downstream of Red, uh, Red Hat right so you will be getting a common stable environment in CentOS so because of uh, this uh, CentOS 8 you know the uh, life cycle was and uh, en is ending by end of 2021 uh, a lot of people is now uh, looking how to change uh, from CentOS to a different version right so that is where we now uh, we have this option for Red Hat uh, which I'll show you like how you can make use of Red Hat as well okay so a lot of people now uh, will have to go to pay uh, Red Hat Linux if you have a bigger environment okay and uh, you know uh, what is the uh, issues is like you know if you are having Red Hat paid user subscribed user you'll be getting a more stable version because CentOS stream is an upstream so you may see a lot of changes very frequently happening in that okay so uh, that's what uh, the ultimate discussion we had it in that if you have not uh, went through the complete detail just have a look on my uh, previous video I will link it in this video description as well so you can go through it uh, the completely okay so before I get into showing out what Red Hat announcement uh, on the uh, production servers, uh, if you haven't subscribed or if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share and comment. Now if I go to this Red Hat uh, blog, okay, so it's uh, clearly mentioned like, you know, they had made this announcement on December on the changes of uh, CentOS Linux, right, and then moving to CentOS Stream. So that has made a lot of uh, issues and a lot of requests from a lot of users who are using uh, CentOS uh, so now they have brought uh, this uh, no cost red OS for uh, small production workloads okay so they, uh, the program is called Red Hat developer program which is actually uh, for developers previously okay uh, where you will be uh, you can make use Red Hat for developer purpose okay but now they have extended that now you can see Red Hat can be used in production up to 16 system as well okay so uh, that's what it says uh, for small production use. This is a no cost uh, self supported uh, Red Hat. You will not be getting any enterprise support. Okay. So what you uh, need is you just need to have a Red Hat account. Okay. Just by email or GitHub or Twitter or Facebook, any other way, you just create a Red Hat account and you can download the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay. So, and you'll be getting receiving out update as well from that. Okay. So uh, this is in a sales program, okay, this is not a cost, okay, and you don't have to pay for it. So it's a, a simple uh, process. You just have a sign up a Red Hat account and you can download it. So if you go to this Red Hat uh, program, uh, developer programs, so you'll be getting into this page where you can uh, download the Red Hat Linux, okay. So once you go there, you'll be getting options to download. So you can use the uh, ISO or boot or whichever uh, versions you want to download or if you want an older version you can go here and you can download it okay so uh, it's it's pretty simple you just go here and you can get this uh, downloaded and you can start using if you want to uh, get a subscription from red hat you can go and need a subscription from here and you can uh, make use of that as well okay so it's pretty simple so it's very clear now that you know red hat is, is uh, giving 
this option as well so people uh, who are using small uh, environment for production use case you don't have to worry you know, even though uh, CentOS Linux is not there if you don't want to go to CentOS stream you can use Red Hat Enterprise Linux as well for up to 16 servers okay so I think 16 servers is a good this is some of the small enterprise you may not have to need to have that much uh, big uh, servers but uh, for a uh, larger environment definitely 16 servers are not uh, good enough and also people who want to make use of at home you know uh, if they don't want to go to CentOS uh, stream you can use Red Hat Linux as well uh, for your uh, you know use cases okay so that's all i wanted to share in this tutorial so if you don't know much about centos stream uh, centos linux there are also talking uh, talks about kali linux uh, there are other linux version as well which are coming as a, a fork version from centos okay so there are a lot of uh, blocks on this please go through it you read through it and uh, i will link my video description in this uh, video uh, the video link in this video description where i have spoke about uh, what is the reason for CentOS uh, Linux to be discontinued why they are going to CentOS stream and what are the changes or who will be impacted and all those things are discussed there so you can have a look there okay so uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel again I know I would request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment and I'm hoping this tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching